Hi, my name is Arlene. I'm a physical therapist here at Glory to God PPEG. Today, I'm going to be going over with you the Trexo. The Trexo is a robotic assisted exoskeleton walking assisted device that is used in conjunction with the Rift and Pacer, which is right here. So basically, I'm going to go over with you how to set it up, what kind of patients we put in here, and I'm going to demonstrate three different patients and show you how it helps them. The Trexo is wonderful because it allows kids who ordinarily wouldn't be able to ambulate to ambulate, to feel the feeling of um, the vestibular input, the proprioception. It, it also provides them with range of motion and weight bearing, which is very important for bone health. The, another benefit to the Trexo is that you can use it either over this treadmill or on the floor. Another wonderful thing about the Trexo is that all of the information is stored in this tablet. So what you would do is you would input each child that you're gonna use it with. You set the parameters. You would go to new session. And then here where it says gate, you would set their parameters according to their range of motion. So if someone has a, a knee flexion contracture, you wouldn't take them past what their available range of motion is. Um, so this allows us in, to be able to keep track of each child and how much they progress over each session. So if I go to activity here, you see all the sessions that this patient has had and the higher ones are obviously she performed better. Of course, the kids are our boss, so if they're having a bad day, we take them off. You know, we don't use it every time. We use it in conjunction with regular gait training or for the kids that are non-ambulatory, this is the only uh, gait training that they... So first you wanna set up the actual pacer. Um, to set up the pacer, you're gonna raise it or lower it depending on the child's height. You're gonna modify the chest prompts. They slide in and out and obviously you clip them in. And you can also adjust the seat. We can lift it up or low and slide it forward or back and tilt it up or down, as you see. Okay. Then we're gonna measure this, measure this number that you see right here. So what you do is you would take measuring tape and in centimeters, you would measure from the greater trochanter to the tibial plateau, and then from the tibial plateau to the bottom of the heel. I'm gonna grab our first patient. So this is Ethan. So we were talking about kids of different functioning levels. Mr. Ethan is non-ambulatory and depends on the wheelchair for most of, as his primary mode of locomotion. As you can see, he has difficulty with head control. Uh, the Trexo, I find, helps him maintain his range of motion. Obviously, it provides weight bearing and proprioception. And it, I find that it helps him a lot with his head control. His mom has also reported that she finds great benefit to it. So Mr. Ethan is a patient that ordinarily wouldn't fit in the Trexo because he's still too short. So what I did is I bought a bunch of shoe inserts on Amazon and lifted him up until the level that he can fit. And what I did, I wrap him around with just some cold band. So I'll do one foot and to not bore you, we'll cut and show him in the Trexo. So this is, you would just take the lift, take the cold band, and wrap it around. I like to call them his Frankenstein shoes. Right, Ethan? Are they your Frankenstein shoes? Yeah, he says yes. Are they your Frankenstein shoes? Yes. So what I find is you want to really wrap it all the way around because the um, lift gets stuck on the, on the tread. And then you have to pause. And the cold. Okay, so we've set Ethan up in here. Um, I adjusted the foot plates, the leg length, and the hips. I've also adjusted the um, chest prompt. You want to make sure that you leave one hand distance. You have to be very careful because since these kids are nonverbal, sometimes their knees, as you see as close to here, can rub against here and it obviously causes pain. So you have to constantly be looking at their face for any um, signs of pain or discomfort. So Ethan is all set up and we're gonna first put him in standing. I'm gonna put stop standing and we're gonna start. The great thing about the tablet is it also allows you to increase speed and decrease speed. So if you watch, 
I watch him and I watch how his feet are doing and how, his reaction and I adjust the speed accordingly. These colors also, they'll change colors depending on how much he's initiating. So when you see it turn blue, it means he's initiating. When it's purple, it means the machine is doing the work. And when it turns orange, it means that he is giving resistance. So right there, he gave a little resistance. Again, this is set to his parameters for his contractures and his available range of motion. I don't like to tie his hands in. Ethan, since he can't talk. Hi, buddy. Hi. Are you happy? You're not sure? Here we have Hazel. Hazel, say hi. Hi. So Hazel has, a, as you can see, long history using the Trexo. Hazel has um, spastic quadriplegia. She has acetosis, and she walks with a scissoring gait. So she's a patient that is able to ambulate, but with basically total assistance and an assisted device. So we're going to demonstrate Hazel walking on the Trexo. All right, so we have Hazel in here ready to go. You'll notice it's turning orange. That means she was resisting. The purple is the machine is doing it for her. And the blue is her initiating at the joint. So it'll tell you at the hip and knee joint. And we're able to keep track of her progress throughout the years. Pick up your head and say bye, everybody. Say bye, everybody. Okay. This is Edward. Edward is a level four on the gross motor function classification scale for cerebral palsy, which basically means that he can ambulate with an assistive device and assistance. What I find is that the Trexo helps that carry over with his ability to ambulate with an assistive device greatly. He's able to initiate more. Eddie, say hi. He's able to initiate more and tolerate uh, longer distances. So we're going to put him on the truck now. So here we have Edward walking, and he, Edward, do you want him to go faster? He likes to control the speed, and he watches himself in the mirror to make sure that he's having the lights turn blue. Look, look in the mirror. You see? Good job. You want it to turn blue, okay? You have to push with your legs. Do you want it to slow down or faster? Which one? Faster. You're going to be running? Look up. Look up. Good. Push with your feet. Which one do you want it to do? Go faster? You want the whole tablet? Okay. Let's see. Make them turn blue and I'll give you the tablet, okay? But look up, look up top. Look up top. Good job. And Eddie tolerates this for 30 minutes at this point, and we're able to track his initiation. He's doing great. Stay tuned. We'll, we'll be demonstrating these same three patients' progress over the next six months. We'll show them walking if they're able to off the Trexo and on the Trexo, and I'll demonstrate that how much they've improved in their initiation. Until next time, see you later.